The International AIDS Conference wrapped up today at Montreal's downtown convention center. More than 9,000 delegates from around the world were scheduled to attend the conference in person, with another 2,000 registered to participate remotely. Yesterday, Federal Health Minister Jean-Yves Duclos announced the government is investing nearly $18 million to expand access to HIV testing in Canada. A coalition of advocate groups says that Ottawa needs to do even more. They note the number of people living with HIV in Canada has risen by 25 percent since 2008. Well, joining us now to talk more on this is Mr. Gary Lacoste, Executive Director of the Canadian AIDS Society. Sir, welcome back to Forum Daily. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing great, sir. And uh, we really appreciate you joining us. We know you're just coming back from the conference today. So what was this year's theme at the conference? What were the main points discussed today? Well, the theme was re-engage and follow the science. So uh, it was really a privileged place to re-engage with our peers across uh, the, the ocean and around the world. And it was really interesting to re-engage our partnerships and also our um, our, our knowledge base of what's happening around the world and cross-pollinating our, our uh, way forward. And we mentioned Canada has seen a 25% increase in people living with HIV since 2008. So uh, where does Canada stand in terms of people with HIV compared to other countries? Well, we're the country in the G7 that's lagging the most concerning HIV. So that's where we're starting from. And that's where the minister did not acknowledge with his announcement yesterday where we are. So we find it very disingenuous from the public health agency uh, officials that are here, all the way up to the Minister of Health, and even by no ministers or the prime minister being present at the opening ceremonies, which they were contractually obligated to do, uh, was very unfortunate because we've been trying to explain that to many delegates and with just egg on our face and that whole issue resides on the shoulders of Justin Trudeau. And on that note of the Minister of Health, uh, we mentioned the announcement on expanding access to HIV testing in Canada. So uh, just how accessible is HIV testing in Canada, especially for those most affected? It's a patch, patchwork quilt across Canada because we're a federation. So when it comes to HIV testing, we have to have many technologies that are offered so that people can reduce the barriers to testing. It's not just self-testing. And if you'll notice, in the investment, half of the money is going to the National Laboratory in Winnipeg, which is staying internally in the government. So it's not reaching our priority populations that way at all. So we're asking for better technologies, not just self-testing, but wraparound care and testing. And it's clear that advocates are calling for a lot more action from our officials. So what other steps uh, does Canada need to take in, in order to help this growing number of people affected by HIV? They need to uh, step up their game. They need to invest more to ensure that the rising cases are reversed and we get down to where we were prior to 2016, where we were seeing decreases year after year. So that means investing in care and support to people living with HIV. It means having adequate uh, access to medication and equity across Canada, which we don't have because we do not have a national pharma care program, which the Liberals promised in 2015, which they have not delivered yet. So we need to step up our game and we have to have more equity and more equitable access to many different things. But we do have some things to to really celebrate with U equals U, like undetectable equals untransmittable, which is a huge tool in our toolbox, which is somebody who is using their medications and uh, continuously and reach undetectable cannot transmit HIV anymore. So, you know, there, it's, it's breakthroughs like that that we have to build upon to reduce stigma to people living with HIV. And we also have to decriminalize HIV uh, disclosure which is, hasn't been done, which has been promised since 2015 from the same government. It's clear a lot of work needs to be done. All right, Mr. Lacoste, we've got a quick 30 seconds left here, but uh, what are you watching for next coming off the heels of the conference? 
Well, what, what we're watching for next is to re-engage with Minister Duclos as we've had some privileged space to meet with him uh, during the last couple of days and to engage in really meaningful conversations uh, and also address the, uh, the issues that have been holding them back from doing it. Why are they not investing in HIV in Canada? And I think that also is on the shoulders of the public health officials to respond to that. All right, Mr. Lacoste, thank you again for your time today. I right, thank you. Take care.